Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we are going to be going over this. Look how beautiful that is. Corderosa collection from Sigma. This was sent to me. I put it all back in here because I wanted us to go through it together. So I tried to put it back exactly the way it was so that you guys could experience opening it too. That's the best I can do. I got this uh, about two weeks ago and I've been using it every day since. Everything that I have on my face today, except for foundation and powder, I think, is all Sigma. The Corderosa eyeshadow palette sells for $49. So it has 14 buildable, blendable shades in matte, shimmer, and metallic. Dual-ended brush included with interlocking ferrules backed by a free two-year warranty. The liquid lipstick is $20. It's a lightweight satin matte lip color in a long-wearing hydrating formula. It's a neutral earthy tone. The lip glosses are $20 each and it's a smooth lightweight color in a non-sticky moisturizing formula. There are three different shades and so it's Corderosa which is an earthy rose shimmer, Lilac Wine which is my favorite and it's a pale pink shimmer and then Secret Garden which is a soft rosewood shimmer and this all launches April the 14th and it's available at Sigma Beauty. So let's get the palette out. We'll leave these in here for a second. I wanna talk about the palette first. Of course, it does the same thing as the box. <laughs> There's roses all over the front of it. On the back, it shows all of the shades with their names. They are also included underneath the shade itself. Well, on the inside, there is a mirror. I'm gonna flop it over like this so that it's not shining on you. And it has a plastic cover that I normally get rid of. <laughs> But I'm having this little obsession with these gold roses on here. I think it looks really pretty over the top of this, so I'll probably keep it. Inside we have each of the shades. This is what they look like. And a brush. I tried really hard not to rub off all the imprinting like uh, the word Sigma or this one here actually is imprinted with a rose. You would expect that the brush included in this palette is gonna be something special, and I think it is. All Sigma brushes are covered with a two-year warranty. This one is as well. So that should tell you something. This is a real brush. This is wood. <laughs> These are interlocking Sigma ferrules that you would expect. It's a good brush. This is a shader and this is a blender. I just wanna show you up close the brush because this is actually not just a brush they threw in here, but two of their existing brushes, which total $33 that is put together in one brush for this palette. Because I know a lot of people have a problem with double-ended brushes. I will never keep this with my other brushes because no matter what end I put it on, I don't want the weight of the brush to be smushing on it, right? But if you keep it in here, it will take care of that problem and you actually have a functional brush that you can use, does an excellent job, as you will see when I apply this makeup for you. I did this entire eye look and all the others that I have done with it using only this. In case you're wondering, these are e.l.f. little eye patch things underneath my eyes. And who finds it shocking that I'm going to use the Sigma Eye Primer? And we're gonna come right into the crease now a little high on the crease because I'm going to use other shades too, but I want you to be able to see this peachy color. I don't know what happened to the footage of this. Before this, I took Veranda and went from my crease up to my brow bone. And I don't know why that's not in here. But yeah, as per usual, I did that. And I keep calling that shade Verdana. <laughs> I'm gonna come into this here, it's called Medallion, with the shader part now. Into Verdana, I wanna buff out up here at the top a little bit, just kinda of lighten that up. I predict Verdana will <laughs> be the first one panned here. <laughs> it does a really good job of, of blending out. I really like that shade a lot. Bring it into the corner of my eye as well. 
I'm going to come up here and get Shakespeare. This look is going to go a little warm. I already know that warm shades don't look as good as cool shades on me. I know this already. <laughs> I'm just basically tapping out here on the outer part of my eye with Shakespeare. All right, now I'm going to take the other end here and dip into bare root and pop that in the crease with a medallion to just get some of the red out. There, that's a little better. The last thing I'm gonna do up here is go into this shade, and it is called Bell of the Ball. Look how beautiful that is. But it's got tiny, tiny little sparkles in it. So press down gently. Because <laughs> these little beautiful sparkles will fall down there. Get trapped in all those wrinkles, and then for three days, you're gonna be trying to get that out of there. This is what you have to do if you're my age or older, I think. Unless you just like having sparkle all over wrinkles. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You know, you might think about a pigment primer there. Now I'm gonna be speeding through a bunch of stuff that isn't a Sigma, but I'll show you what it is. You already know what this is. <laughs> In case you're interested, you know, I'm just leaving it in so you know what products I used on the rest of my face. Wouldn't make much sense not to use the Cor de Rosa blush from them, right? Then to finish and smudge the lower lash line, I use Bare Root. Let's put on the liquid lip. It's really, really not heavy and very hydrating, I think. And then, because it's you, because I would normally go for this one, I'll put the Corda Rosa one on. These feel really good too. They're not sticky at all. And they're lightweight. And they're just really feel good. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna go do my hair and I don't know, some kind of way. It's getting kind of long and unruly. Um, and I might end up in a scarf. I don't know. But I will be back and then I will give you my final thoughts in three, two, one. All of the shades are really blendable. They're not patchy. They last all day over multiple kinds of primer. My only problem with this is, is that it's really warm and I don't wear a lot of warm colors. But to tell you the truth, because I'm not as talented as, say, Mel, my friend Mel Thompson, she could, I'm sure, probably take this palette and do four different looks that you could tell were very different looks but me it's coming out to look like this pretty much the same look 
every time. I could do two different eye looks with two different sets of shadows here. And when I put on my glasses and go around, you probably wouldn't notice I have on two different eyes. I'm starting at the bottom so that I don't get sparkles all the way through the rest of the shades when I remove it. So this is Bare Root Hybrid Medallion. And now Campfire, Dark Night, and Summer Song. I realize that the best place to do this is not the back of my hand, but I have trouble, as you can probably see orange on my arm, doing it on my arm and turning it so I just, I did it here. Just keep in mind that when I use the brushes, I'm having to press harder and go over a couple of times because of the veins and the bones in the back of my hand. Using Jen's microfiber technique and a makeup wipe to show the staying power, I do want to say they do stay all day. This shade is Corderosa. I love this shade. And then High Society and Apricot. Then Shakespeare. Damask, Sunsprite, and then I took for Dana, I took Veranda, and just put it there because you can't see it anyway. And then the last shade is Bell of the Ball. And if Sigma is honoring that 30% code, I think it'd be, what, $35 then or something instead of $49? It's beautiful. Now let's go through the lip shades. Get one liquid lip, which is Corderosa. And of course I'm wearing it. It has a doe foot applicator. Let me show you the color off of my mouth. And there it is. It is lightweight. It is hydrating. I don't know about long wearing. It'll last me until I eat and then I'll have to reapply. But this is not drying at all. I love that about it. And then we have these three glasses that also feel yummy. That's the word. This one is Corderosa. So let me show you that one first. And that is what I'm wearing. This one is my favorite and it's called Lilac Wine. And this one is Secret Garden. That one there is Secret Garden. So comfortable. It's not sticky at all. It doesn't give you those gross strings. <laughs> uh, it feels lightweight. You're not worried about it going all over your mouth. And when I first got it, I was in love with this. It's a brush, not a doe foot. All right, but here's what I don't like. When you put this in here, you have to be very careful when you go in because if not, that's my complaint. And then when you try to put it on your mouth, the bristles make it go off your mouth. But other than that, I have no complaint. I initially was like, yeah, why doesn't everybody use brushes? Instead of doe foots. And then that started happening. Well, hopefully they'll change that and they will have doe foots instead of brushes. Even though I really like the way the brush feels. It's so soft. It feels so good. As always, before we get out of here, I gotta let you know that you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not feeling blessed, maybe you just don't feel happy at all, try doing something for someone else and making them happy. Okay? And then once you do that, once you're a blessing to someone else, then 
you will truly feel as if you are blessed. So do that. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Oh, crap. I poked myself in the eye. You would think if I was going to poke myself. <laughs> you would think if I was going to poke myself in the eye, it would be with my finger, not this. Now I'm going to come into this shade right here with hybrid. No, that is the name of the shade. I'm not coming into it with hybrid. What would that mean anyway? Really? Mary? Dumb it. Colors uh. has 14 bindle. <laughs> Core de Rosa, Earthy Rose, Shimmer, Lilac, Wine. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm mixing descriptions up with names. <laughs> Get it together. Act a little professional. As I'm sure you will. will. Goo goo gaga. <laughs> I'm going to come into this one here with the shader part. And this is called. I don't know. What the frickin' heck is it called? <laughs> Get back in your house! Now that my hair is this color. Oh, it's tickling me! It's so long, it's coming over and it's tickling my forehead. <laughs> okay. This is Shakespeare in love. No, it's not. It doesn't love me. <laughs> Everything and everyone should love me. Romeo, 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 wherefore art thou, Romeo? <laughs> I have Shakespeare in love on my nose. It's not called Shakespeare <laughs> because I keep using that. That and Burdain. Bur -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> that and Bur -ba 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 -ba. So let's. D do you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Well, I meant to do that. I'm cleaning the mirror, is what I'm doing. The bristles tend to go flying all over the place. Oh no. Oh no. Get in there. No, for sure you're going to be broke now.